Hello, Harry. Oh, hello, Nick. Even after all these years, I still find new secrets in Hogwarts. Here's a special area that you can unlock only if you collect all 40 silver wizard cards. For every 10 silver wizard cards you collect, you'll get a key that will allow you to open one of the four locks on the door. See if you can find all 40 silver wizard cards hidden throughout Hogwarts and the grounds.
remember where it is, don't you? I'd better get out of here. Filch might be lurking nearby. Well, well, well. I heard a crash, and what do I find? Mr. Harry Potter and a broken, irreplaceable antique vase. Argus Filch, the caretaker, was loathed by every student at Hogwarts. Some thought his cat, Mrs. Norris, spied on students. Honestly, it, it just fell. <sighs> What was that? Hey, what are you talking about? I heard a voice. Hearing voices won't get you off. I'll mark this down against you. Now move along while I clean this up. I must have been hearing things. Back to break more valuable school uh, property. Uh, I said move along. <laughs> Welcome to Defense Against the Dark Arts. My fame makes an introduction unnecessary, but I'll delight you with one anyway. I am Gilderoy Lockhart, Order of Merlin, third class, honorary member of the Dark Force Defense League, and five-time winner of Witch Weekly's Most Charming Smile Award. Ah, I see you've all bought a complete set of my books. Well done. Today, we shall be learning the Rictusempra spell. Rictusempra? is very useful when stunning certain pesky creatures such as Cornish pixies. Who wants to be first? Harry Potter, will you step down here, please? Lucky. Clear your mind completely, Harry. Don't even think about me. And concentrate on the symbol in front of you. See the wand? It's going to move its way around the symbol. At the exact point when the wand passes over the arrows, hit the corresponding arrow key. This exercise has three parts. You must hit all of the arrows correctly in order to progress to the next round. Ready to try? Round one, begin! Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two, begin. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three, begin. Fabulous work, Harry! Aren't you glad you've learned from the likes of me? You've now completed the exercise. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. You've learned Rictusempra. You didn't do as well as I did the first time, but then who could? Now, how about a turn in the spell practice arena? Welcome, Harry Potter, to my famous Rictus Sempra challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which will be found at the top of this tower. 
Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. Along the way, you will find challenge stars. Collecting challenge stars will boost your timer and score. Try and find them all. Try to get the completion star with as many seconds remaining as possible. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Ready to begin? Good luck! Three, two, one, go! Firecrabs, a nasty little that like to shoot hot flame out of, uh, well, at you. You can stun them by casting Richter Separate on them. Then you can use Flipendo to push them around. This indicates that a fire crab placed on or nearby the symbol will cause something to happen in the world, Harry. Try and use Flipendo to push the fire crab onto this plate. That's a giant orange snail. Avoid touching them or their slime trails. The acid that they secrete will burn you. Harry, trust me, I know. Richter Sempra will stun them, and then you can use Flipendo to push them around. are a greedy lot. They will try to steal your Bertie Bot's beans. Flipendo will push them onto their backs and cause them to drop anything they might have stolen. You can also pick up gnomes and throw them around. Throw them into a gnome hole to permanently get rid of them. That is a gnome hole. This is where gnomes come from and where they go to deposit stolen goods. Throw gnomes into these holes to permanently get rid of them. You cannot climb into them.
Mr. Potter, you have completed my Rip to Sempra challenge. The remaining time now becomes your personal high score. Dumbledore, Headmaster of Hogwarts. Welcome to the very first weekly house point ceremony of the school year. The house with the most points wins a visit to the Bean Bows Room. The length of the visit depends on how many more points they have over the second placed house. Let's take a look at the scores. Oh, it appears that Gryffindor is in the lead. Harry, it looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. Good luck, and remember, you only have a limited time to collect beans. There you are. 
Glad I found you. Hello, Wood. Time for Quidditch practice, Harry. None of the other teams have started training yet, so we'll have a good head start. But I haven't had lunch yet. You can eat later. Follow me to the Quidditch pitch. Hey, Harry, want to trade? We buy in bulk and pass the savings on to you. Hey, Harry, want to trade? What do you have? I have a Nimbus 2001, the best model available to the general public. Press on the yes button to accept the trade or the no button to decline. Seat yourself. Don't know when I'll have these again, though. Hey, Harry, want to trade? What do you have? I have Quidditch armor. Just like the Chudley Cannons wear. I'm sure you'll be happy with your purchase, Harry. Sorry, Harry. I haven't got anything to sell you at the moment. Listen up, Harry. We're going to make sure we win the Quidditch Cup this year, and the way we're going to do that is practice, practice, practice. First, a quick recap of what we learned last year. Of course, you already know that the red ball is called the Quaffle, and it's the job of the three chasers to get it past the enemy keeper and into one of the goalposts. But you don't need to concern yourself with that. There are also two bludgers flying around, which you don't want to get hit by. But don't worry, each team has two beaters who try to keep them away from you. Last, and most importantly, it's your job as our Seeker to catch the Golden Snitch before the enemy Seeker does. Since you've been off all summer, let's start out easy. I'm going to throw up a Snitch for you, and I want you to try to catch it. Sounds easy enough? You can use your arrow keys to steer your broom left, right, up and down. If you have enough beans, you can buy Quidditch upgrades from Fred and George. Quidditch is a rough game, Harry, but don't worry, padding helps. That's it, Harry. You've almost got it. Now the rest of the Gryffindor team is here, let's play a mock game of Quidditch. Avoid the Bludgers and the other Seeker. I'm going to have a Gryffindor stand in as an enemy Seeker. You'll need to make sure she's out of the way before you can catch the Snitch. Don't worry, they'll take it easy on you. Excellent work, everyone. You're back on form, Potter, which means we've got a great chance of winning the cup this year. Aren't you finished yet, Harry? Don't look now, but here comes the Slytherin team. I don't believe it. I booked the pitch for today. Hey, they've got new brooms and, and it looks like... Yes, they are. They're Nimbus 2001s. Yeah, I know. Apparently, Lucius Malfoy made a very generous donation. Like our new brooms, Weasley. What are you doing here, Malfoy? I'm the Slytherin Seeker now. Didn't you know? Perhaps someday Gryffindor will be able to afford new brews. Well, at least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. They got in on pure talent. No one asked your opinion, you filthy little mudblood. You pay for that one, Malfoy. Well, at least I could afford it, Weasley, unlike you. Leave it, Ron. He's not worth the trouble. 
Mudblood, the nasty name some wizards use for other wizards who were born to non-magical parents. And speaking of mud, October arrived damply at Hogwarts, spreading a soggy chill over the grounds and into the castle. A different kind of chill would soon set in as well. It's time for potions class with Professor Snape. We don't want to be late. You know what he's like. It's down in the dungeons. Follow me. leads to the dungeons. Pay attention. Today, you will attempt to learn the art of mixing one of the most useful potions ever concocted. The Wigan Weld Potion. Potter, you have just volunteered to show the rest of the class how this is done. Get up here immediately. A Wigan Weld Potion will restore some of your lost stamina. Even a single bottle is capable of healing the most grievous wounds. In this chest are the two ingredients of Wiganweld potion, flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark. Take them out. <laughs> now, walk up to the cauldron. Try not to touch the potion, I don't want- Where are you going, boy? Get back over here and complete your lesson. Observe Mr. Potter adding the ingredients to the cauldron and mixing them. Careful, Potter. You don't want to lose house points. Mr. Potter now has a Wiganweld potion. To drink the potion, press spacebar. Back to your seat, Potter. Those of you who are adventurous, or more probably clumsy, will no doubt want to make Wiganweld potions on your own. Therefore, there are cauldrons like this one throughout Hogwarts. They are the only cauldrons in which Wiganweld potions can be made. And the ingredients, flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark, can also be found throughout Hogwarts. Now for today's lecture, the history of flubberworm mucus extraction. Before that lecture, I thought I knew everything I wanted to about Flobber One Mucus, and I was right. Well, I thought he touched on some interesting aspects. Let's get going before Snake comes out. What was that? What was what? That voice! It was coming from over there! Come on! What's going on? Enemies of the air, beware! You'll be next, mudbloods.
she's been petrified, but how, I cannot say. And now, I would like everybody to please return to their dormitories. There's nothing else to see here. Come on, Harry. Professor Dumbledore's right. There's nothing more to see here. Everyone at Hogwarts was disturbed by the attack on Mrs. Norris and the mysterious words scrawled on the wall. Rumors and speculations spread. Hermione in particular was especially affected. Ron and Harry became sure that she was up to something, but whatever it was, she remained tight-lipped. We have to get to charms class, Harry, and I have an idea. An idea about what? We should ask Professor Flitwick about the Chamber of Secrets. He's bound to know something. Let's go. Hurry up, Harry. We don't want to be late for charms. Coming, Hermione. Hi, would you consider a trade? <laughs> 